Progressing your character's power level can be quite intimidating, especially if you're a new or returning player, which is why in this video, I'm going to simplify power leveling and how to level up fast in Destiny 2 Season 18. Whether you're a new player or a returning player, you should find this guide useful to master the understanding of different types of power and how it all works. So be sure to leave a rating and let's begin. Now in Destiny 2, there are essentially two different types of power, three if you include the seasonal rank. Now these are identified as your season pass ranks, the level you are for the current season that resets at the start of a new season, and earned by XP. 100,000 XP will give you a plus one on the season pass or seasonal rank. Your bonus power, also earned from XP as you level up, but requires significantly more XP the higher your bonus power level gets. And the last one is your gear power, the most important power that you should be focusing on. Gear power rises as your weapons and armor power levels rise, which happens when you unlock certain rewards like powerful and pinnacle ingrams. Now both the gear power and your bonus power will add up to contribute to your total power level, the big yellow number you see when you hover over your power in the character menu. Basically, the higher this number is, the stronger your character will be in endgame PvE that has no power caps. Now I'm going to break this video into timestamp sections so you can understand everything individually, so let's break it down further. So the season pass ranks are levels you earn in a season which reset at the start of a new season, usually every 13 weeks. As you complete bounties and activities for XP, you unlock new ranks and rewards up to level 100 on the season pass, but you can progress further if you wish to for bright ingrams after rank 100, and one rank is exactly 100,000 XP. There is no major benefit to ranking up past rank 200 though, as that's when you get enough bonus power from all the XP you earn to play the end game PvE content. Now as you level up with XP, you'll also unlock bonus power, which is the next section we're going to talk about. Bonus power is extra power levels earned through XP as you play the game. The higher your bonus power gets, the greater the XP requirement is to unlock the next bonus power level. For example, when you get to a plus 17, the amount of XP required to get to plus 18 is around 1.8 million XP, or an extra 18 season pass ranks. The best way to grow your bonus power level is to do bounties and seasonal challenges for XP. Now bonus power is a fixed power, meaning it will always get higher and not smaller, at least until the following season when it resets back to zero. It's pretty straightforward how you get bonus power, basically just play the game and earn XP, that's as simple as it gets. But don't get confused with bonus power and your gear power because they are completely separate powers and will not benefit each other in any way, because bonus power will not help you get higher gear power drops from rewards regardless of how high your total power level is. Now you might think, well what's the point of bonus power then if it doesn't help my gear drops? Well in order to play late season content like Grandmaster Nightfalls, you're required to either be max gear power level and have at least 15 bonus power in order to just start the activity, or have a stupidly high bonus power level instead. Regardless, both powers will contribute to benefit your character massively. But you could be a plus 500 bonus power for example, and 1500 gear power, making you a total of 2000 power. This does not mean your next weapon drop is going to be 2000. It will drop at around 1502 or close to what your total power level is as a whole, even if your highest gear isn't equipped on your character. The game calculates your highest level and drops gear based on that. Just remember though, season pass ranks and bonus power will reset back to zero at the start of each new season. Now gear power does sound complicated, so let's simplify that next. So in Season 18, all your weapons and armor have a max power level, which is 1580, and that means no weapon or armor drop will go beyond 1580, so this is limited unlike bonus power levels which can grow infinitely through XP during a season. Every season, gear power grows too, so the max power level cap is raised. So in Season 19, it will be 1590. Now in simple terms, to increase your gear power level, you need to do certain activities for gear to drop at a higher level. You start with rare, then legendary, then powerfuls, then pinnacles. Now I'll break this down shortly, but your gear will drop to a certain max power depending on where you get the reward from. Now gear power is confusing. One gear power level is actually eight small power, or eight slots of one power each, or eight power added up all together from any slots. These are broken down from the three weapons on the left and the five armor on the right. So each slot has their own power level, which is capped to 1580 in Season 18. So if every slot is 1580, your gear power will be 1580. If two slots are 1580 and the rest are zero, your gear power will be 377. Add up all your gear power from each slot and divide it by the amount of slots you have which is 8, and that will be what your gear power level actually is. Just remember though, you don't need to have the highest gear equipped in order to get higher drops. You could play at 1500 power 
but have a full set of gear unequipped at 1580, and your next pinnacle or powerful reward will still drop at 1580, even though you're 1500. This is because you're equipped at 1500, but your power when equipped with your highest gear is actually 1580. As long as you have your highest gear somewhere, that be a different character or your vault, or just be generally unequipped, then you're safe. Just remember that bonus power also doesn't affect your gear drops too. Now there are four stages of power levels in Season 18, and with each stage your gear will drop to a certain max power. So you might wonder why you can't get gear higher than 1520 when the max power is 1580. It's probably because you've hit the stage cap and you need to unlock the next tier of rewards to progress further. So in season 18, there are four power stages. These are the floor power, the soft cap, the powerful cap, and the pinnacle cap. In simple terms, these power stages determine the max level your gear can drop at when you earn a reward as part of that stage. For example, if you're 1520 and you want to get to 1570, you need to earn powerful rewards. If you're 1570 and you want to get to the max power of 1580, you need to do pinnacle rewards. As you level up gear, the previous stage of rewards like legendary or rare engrams will scale with your level, but it will never be higher than your gear level. So you could be 1540 gear power and the next legendary engram will end up being 1520 or 1530, whereas a powerful engram would be 1543 for example. So starting with stage 1, the floor power. Floor power is the starting power that everyone starts at, which happens at the start of a new expansion once a year. The last change was in the Witch Queen during Season 16, so this will remain at 1350 until Lightfall releases, or Season 20. So if you are at 1350 and you want to get to the soft cap, which is 1520, you need to get any reward like rare or legendary gear. These are found by doing pretty much anything in the game, but the best way to level up to the soft cap fast is to do the legendary Witch Queen campaign or any story content. The next stage after that is the powerful cap, and this is capped out at 1570, so to get to that you need to earn powerful rewards or packages which are found in places highlighted around the map when you reach near to 1520. And these will be things like the tower challenges or seasonal activities, but they have a limit to the amount you can do each week, so once you've done a powerful reward, you'll have to wait until Tuesday's weekly reset for it to reset or rotate to a new powerful reward. Once you hit the powerful cap though, all powerful drops will drop at your base gear power level and not the cap of 1570, so they can be used for min-maxing during the pinnacle grind. I'll explain that in just a moment, but it's also worth noting that during your powerful grind you can sometimes get prime ingrams, which are basically like powerful rewards as well. Just make sure to decode them at the crypt arc at the tower as soon as you get one. Now the final stage in Destiny 2 is the pinnacle cap, which is capped out at 1580, and the only way to get from 1570 to 1580 is to do pinnacle rewards. These are found in harder activities like nightfalls, raids, dungeons, events, iron banner, and all those endgame activities. Pinnacle rewards will give a plus 2 higher power than your total gear power level, but some like the strikes, crucible and gambit only offer a plus 1. Now 1580 is the highest gear level you can get to during season 18, but you can go higher with bonus power from XP. Your bonus power will reset though at the end of the season, but your gear power won't, so at the start of season 19, you'll start from where you left off with your gear power level. To level up fast in Destiny 2 Season 18 for seasonal ranks and bonus power, you're best doing the seasonal challenges, weekly challenges and bounties each week. If you want to get to the pinnacle cap fast, first get to the soft cap of 1520 by doing anything in the game, ideally the legendary campaign, then farm powerfuls to get to 1570, and then your pinnacles to 1580 and repeat the same thing but on your second and third characters. And then at the next weekly reset, go backwards starting from the character that has the highest power level. You want to always start on the character that has the highest power power level, because higher weapon level drops can be used to benefit your other characters, whereas their gear can't. So earlier I mentioned a term min-maxing. This is a term used where you are above the powerful cap between 1570 and 1580, and you have one or a few slots holding you back in power, but the gear needed can make you go up a full power level by getting a powerful reward instead of a pinnacle reward. This is a really effective method and is required if you want to be max power within the first two weeks, depending on RNG of the drops that is, because there are less pinnacle rewards to do in a given week. This can seem complicated, so Here's an example I made from Season 16 that follows the same strat. If your gear power is 1555, with most gear being around 1556 or 1557, but you have that one piece of gear holding you back at say 1553 or 1554, then doing a powerful reward will give you an item at your power level, which would be 1555. Now if this power drop happens to fall into the slot where you have gear below your power level, then this could bump you up a full power level, making you become 1556 so that then your next pinnacle drop will drop at 1558 instead of 1557. This method is known as min-maxing, as a powerful reward can be used to boost your power level at the pinnacle cap. There are useful tools which I'll link below if you want to use them, so that you have a computer doing the math for you that will tell you what you need to get to go to the next power level. 
Now lastly, with that said, you can also use a power calculator or Destiny Item Manager. I will link those down below. It's where you can easily find out what you need power-wise to go up to the next power level so that you can decide if min-maxing gear is worth it for your case or not. Now guys, that is everything you need to know about power level in Destiny 2 Witch Queen Season 18. Be sure to check out my other videos for more guides like this and perhaps leave a rating. Smash that subscribe and be sure to share this to your friends that may need a little guidance because this did take quite some time to make and as always, I'll see you all in the next video.